Brain rules number five and number six involve short-term memory and long-term memory. While there is all sorts of interesting science surrounding long-term memory, such as it appears that it takes years, in some cases a decade, to permanently write certain information on your brain, we're going to focus on short-term memory because that's where it all begins. Hit me. Ah! Oh. Uh. Hit me? Ah! Ah! Oh, I had forgotten about the brush the card thing. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Thanks. You come here often? Oh. Why wouldn't we follow repetition in a setting arguably more important than a casino, like a classroom? In a typical high school, students learn in five or six one-hour chunks of constantly fire-hosed information, often marinated in memorizable fact, that aren't repeated in two-hour intervals. They aren't repeated at all. Given the timing requirements of the human brain, by the time the kids get home to do their homework, homework is not a review. Homework is new learning. The same is true when the kid grows up and becomes an adult. You need to repeat to remember whether your brain is in a classroom or in a casino. Let's go back and see what happened next. So do you come here often? My name's Kate. My number's 7194141. Call me. If you have lucky number 35846665, you are a winner. If you have lucky number 35846665, you are a winner. And we're still looking for our last winner, lucky number 2580248. <laughs> Your brain can hold seven pieces of factual information for about 30 seconds. If you don't repeat it, the information disappears. If you do repeat it within 30 seconds, the brain will now hold onto it for one or two hours. If repetition does not occur again, then the information goes away again, this time permanently. The rule is, repeat to remember. <laughs>